All right, so Jason, you wanted to talk some prop bets for the Super Bowl? Yeah. I have the Bavada. Yeah, we got prop all the, bets. Yeah, I got them all. Anything intrigue you? How much does uh, yellow Gatorade pay out? For uh, <laughs> you love Gatorade. No, I'm being dead serious. Bets. They have a bet on what color the Gatorade is. This yeah, year? because what I is know- it typically? What? Orange? What is it typically? Well, I noticed that Atlanta, when they did it uh, in the NFC Championship game, it was yellow. Yeah. So maybe instead of uh, betting the Falcons' money line, you could bet yellow Gatorade it be dumped on uh, Dan Quinn. Because if, if they what win, if, what if the Pats win and you don't see the color of the Gatorade well, for I'm the just, Falcons? Well, I'm just well, I'm just saying that if you think the Falcons are going to win, instead of just betting them to win, you could get silly odds get on yellow odds ga- on, on yellow. yellow Gatorade. Yeah, but what if you botch it? What if somebody there just put orange Gatorade and well, they I'm won? Just, well, I'm just going with the it. trend. If they get sized for yellow Gatorade. On, on, in the NFC Championship game, why wouldn't they get sliced for yellow Gatorade in the pa- Super Bowl? A passion for the Gatorade bet. <laughs> no, he has a passion for He always thinks he can pull an okie. He's like my son. He always thinks he's got a workaround. And I tell him, there's no workaround. I always like the cross-sport yeah. bets. So here's one involving oh, like who has guy, more Tiger points. Woods. What will be higher? Tiger Woods, fourth-round birdies. Is that an assumption that he's in the fourth round? <laughs> yeah, do they have no cut at this event he's playing <laughs> in oh, over I the love, weekend? I or love this Patriots-Falcons field goals made. Oh, I love that bet. I would definitely take the Pats and Falcons field goals made over Tiger Birdies in the fourth round. By the way, Gatorade gets paid two or yellow Gatorade gets paid two point five to one. So if you think the Falcons are gonna win and you want to bet a money line, it pays plus one forty. So you're getting better odds if you bet the yellow Gatorade. That's what he's trying to say. But the the wrinkle could be they could win and, and then still... switch up the Gatorade. Yes, but I don't think they'll switch up, I don't think they'll switch up the Gatorade. Right. That's why would they? Betting. Why would you switch it up? Why you need you two things to thing? happen though instead of one. You'd be so bitter if they win and then they pour red Gatorade on them. They're, it won't be, be, so won't be red Gatorade. They do wear red. Yeah, but they drink yellow. Okay. How many times did you study it throughout the season? All the you should. I mean, look well, usually Gatorade you don't bath, throw so yellow. You don't throw Gatorade on a coach for winning week two. <laughs> Right. <laughs> True. Yeah, there's not a big body of work there to study. So the only one you got is a championship game. Look at last year. Such a small sample size. They weren't in the playoffs last year. No Gatorade baths. <laughs> you got one, so you're going you got, you got one, one tub of Gatorade. There could have been incident. four other red ones, and they picked the yellow one. Does he think that the Vegas didn't notice the same thing? Like I, that I he's know. the only one. I don't know what he thinks. <laughs> right. I, I know he thinks there's one Gatorade He's the only jug. guy with this nugget. I've been to lacrosse tournaments where they have different colored Gatorade in each jug. Can you imagine what it is? The Super Bowl, the guys probably have whatever they want. Are we going to get paid by Gatorade? There. Why all this Gatorade hype? You should be getting I, paid. I have no idea. Where'd that start? Sorry, I don't Valdez. know. Valdez started, started it. Him. He's always looking for an angle. You know? I'm just a step ahead. Yeah, all right. Bet it. I want you to bet it. I will. I just don't know who's going to win the game. Can you see? Yeah, I have. No, I don't have a lean. Can you just see, no though, it's tough. Head, it's t- Matt Ryan holding the trophy. Over Tom Brady. Gatorade. Hard for me to imagine. It. But maybe it'll Hard be a, to bet against Brady and Belichick. But maybe it really it'll is. be a little payback because like, they stole that one against Seattle a little bit. So I don't know. What's the story that's going around about Dan Quinn and like being a failed New Jersey high school teacher? Like, what he did he try to get a full time gig or something and they did they wouldn't give it to him? Is that the story? I don't know the story. You guys didn't see it? Mm-mm. And now, you know, he's coaching the Super Bowl, and everyone's like, you know. He's done okay. Yeah, he's done okay for himself. I just remember he used to come on my sports show at Salisbury called Sports Rap. <laughs> he would come in studio. Dan Quinn, yeah, he, he went I to Salisbury, it. played football there. He would come on Sports Rap. He came probably in like studio? Probably like once a month. Right. Yeah, we had a little studio. Was he's he a good dude? He's a good dude, yeah. Yeah. A little quiet. Uh-huh. But, yeah, real good dude. He's got a silly haircut. I love Dan Quinn's haircut. Nice and tight. Baldy. Let me see yours today. The only wish I can, I know yours is terrible. <laughs> yeah, it's just I can not, just tell by looking. Good. I can tell by looking at the your only face. Wish your palm caricature. Look, <laughs> look like Dan. Quinn. <laughs> 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 Who, is, there, is there a guy on TV? <laughs> is there a guy on television? Because you're currently on television. Yes. That has hair as bad as yours. Probably not. Like bald guys, most of them they just they go. keep it nice and tight. Yeah. It, That's where <laughs> this comes in handy. <laughs> Woo! Look at that. That <laughs> nah, looks silly. Or be- at least better. <laughs> what time can Sports Rap be heard on WSUR? <laughs> 7 to 8 here on WSUR. 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. on Monday. Maybe. I love those clips. God, so bad. Those are the greatest. Valdez, a guy's tweeting me. I worked for the Bills this year. There's a minimum of four to five different Gatorade flavors on the sideline. <laughs> Thank now that's you. the Bills. It could Thank be different. You. 
Maybe they do their Gatorade differently in Buffalo. I mean, by the way, do I'm it over the, ba- the the Gatorade. Cha- like I'd like one team to just not do it. Gatorade. Like it started it's what? tradition. It started, what, what, years, what do you years care? Ago? What do you care? I don't care that much, but New England didn't tired. do it. What do you want to do? Throw them tired. Up. Yeah, New England didn't do it. I respect Be- that. Does, does Belichick ban that? I mean, they've been there, done that so many times. Don't uh, throw the Gatorade on me, right. guys. We've already been here. I'll <laughs> act like we won before. 